So I like this girl, and I want to get to know her. But I don't want to stalk her. I want to get to know everything about her without sifting through page by page. This is how you do it. Hey guys, Sasha from NetworkNews.com. We are over here at the Display Taiwan 2011, just uh, 10 days after Computex. There's the next event going on over here in the Nangang Hall in Taipei. And uh, look at this. That's a real-time 3D setup recording, filming from the Industrial Technology Research Institute over here in Taiwan and next to me is Eric and Eric can introduce you to this system and can tell you way more than I can. So Eric, what it's all about? Oh, okay, this system can help us to easily take, take the 3D content. Uh, for example, my hand is really closer to the camera and you watch the 3D content you will feel uncomfortable. So now our previous system will detect the dangerous area so we have to adjust our scene to the safe, safe area and then we watch the 3D content that is a, that is a good 3D so our system can help us can help us can help everybody to easily take the good 3D content very cool and you're also doing kind of object analysis over here so your system can recognize objects okay uh, the system will detect the high contrast area because this high contrast area will impact the 3D content to to make the audience feel the crosstalk effect. So okay. that it, that will uh, that, that will make the 3D contents uh, the quality will be down. Okay. And okay. then here we detect uh, because we will detect the two cameras vertical disparity because um, our eye is parallel. Right. So if we set up our two cameras to the different position, uh, we will we will take the bad 3D content. So this software also can help us to uh, calibrate our, our camera system. Very cool. Yeah. And down here is a little system. I would say like these are four four HE racks. Yeah. Um, a couple of Intel Core, uh, core dual, dual, pro core, dual, core. dual Core process in there. But Eric, you told me that you want to make the transition or the shift over to GPUs in the future. Yeah, uh, because uh, in the future our resolution will be high than, uh, for example, HD. And also in the future we decided to make our system work on GPU and uh, it will also uh, work well uh, just like this. And also on real time. And now we, we, we only use two computers to calculate this. Okay, absolutely yeah. fantastic. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. That's a real-time 3D preview from the Industrial Technology Research Institute over here in Taipei. I'm Sasha from NetbookNews.com. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.